we all stand in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May dear friends, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Pius of Petralcina, or commonly known as Padre Pio. And as we gather, let's call to mind our sins, and once again ask the Lord for pardon mm -hmm. and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest St. Pius a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of this ministry, renewed the wonders of your mercy. Grant that through his intercession, we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Haggai. On the first day of the sixth month, in the second year of King Darius, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Shetel, to the high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadak. Thus says the Lord of hosts, This people says, The time has not yet come to rebuild the house of the Lord. Then this word of the Lord came through Haggai the prophet. Is it time for you to dwell in your own paneled houses while this house lies in ruins? Now thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have sown much but have brought in little. You have eaten but have not been satisfied. You have drunk, but have not been exhilarated. Have clothed yourselves, but not been warmed. And whoever earn wages, earn them for a bag with holes in it. Thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up into the hill country, bring timber, and build the house, that I may take pleasure in it and receive my glory, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with tremble and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their coaches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all is faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes a delight in his people. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed, 
because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Bahagi po ng ating pakikisalamuha sa kapwa ay yung we tend to associate someone with people we know. Halimbawa, if we are in this particular location, we tend to, to look for people we know. Or kung sakaling may kilala tayo o may isang persona na nandyan, we tend to connect with people whom we know. Halimbawa na lang, kapag ikay nasa ibang bansa, kapag nalaman na Pilipino, nako, simulang ang unang tanong dyan, saan banda sa Pilipinas? Pagkatapos, anong nayon sa Pilipinas? Eventually, we tend to, or even push to connect. Ah, kamag-anak pala tayo. Yun yung bottom line. Magkakilala pala tayo. Pareho tayo ng dialect. We always tend to do that. Well, basically, for us, culturally, Filipinos, para sa ating mga Pilipino, it has something to do with our culture. We always tend to associate or to co-find the affiliation of one another. Magkakadugo tayo, magkakakonek tayo. In today's gospel, there is this one person who is, is, is starting to, to become more famous in the society. And that is none other than Jesus. At nandito rin po si Herod. The Herod, the emperor at that time, the het, the tetrach at that time. At dahil sumisikat itong taong ito, tinatanong nila kung sino nga ba ito. Kanino konektado ito. At ang daming daming pangalan ang lumabas, Elijah, one of the prophets, and then eventually John. For in fact, it was just Jesus himself. But if there is something unique in the story today, in the case of Herod, he tends to associate the person, he tends to discover who this person is simply because of his own personal conscience. My personal na guilt yung konsensya gumagana. Pinapabalik sa kanya yung nagawa niyang kasalanan. Kinukonsensya siya sa kanyang pagpatay kay Juan. Binabalik. Kaya nga ito naman siya eh. Kusyos na kusyos, takot na takot. Sino nga ba ito? Konektado ba ito sa taong pinatay ko? Yun yung eksena ng ating Ibanghelyo. Kaya tinatanong niya, sino nga ba ito? Yung intention niya of associating the person is not so much to connect, but actually it's something to do with conscience, yung guilt, binabalik sa kanya, yung guilt feeling. Nakakonsensya na. Mga kapatid, today we also celebrate the Feast of Padre Pio. But at that time, Padre Pio became so famous at all. Napaka-famous din siya nung panahong iyon. Hindi ho katagalan. Sabi nga po, eh, ito yung isa sa mga santo ng ating generation, ng ating panahon. Ako mismo nakapunta doon sa location ni Padre Pio. Nakito mismo yung katawan niya na hindi po talaga naagnas. Buo ang kanyang katawan. Makita mo yung location nasa isang bundok. But you can just imagine, after reading all the stories, kung paano nakipila ang lahat ng tao, makita lang, malapit ang lan, at makapagkumpisa lang sa kanya. Makapagkumpisa lang sa kanya. Na kahit yung mismong demonyo ay talagang nadidistract or naaantig din sa kanya dahil sa kabutihan ng kanyang ginagawa na kahit ilang attempts na siya ay sirain o di kaya ilang attempts na siya ay sira talagang i-distract aba kung titignan niyo po nung buhay ni Padre Pio sang katutak na may eksena 
kung paano minsan siya sinisiraan, nilalapitan ng masasamang espiritu and yet nananatiling buo si Padre Pio. At ang kanya si Padre Pio ay kilala po sa sakramento ng pangungumpisal. Kaya noon lahat ng taong yun, nung panahon yun, nakapila, makapagkumpisal lang sa kanya. At siya rin po mismo, walang pagod na makinig sa pangungumpisal. It's something to do with the value of sacrament of confession. Sapagkat alam po natin yung ating kahinaan. Alam natin yung ating pagkakasala. At kapag tayo nagkakasala, ang gumagana po lagi dyan ay yung konsensya. Pinapabalik sa atin, pinapaalala hanggang tayo maging matino, magbago, at magkaroon ng bagong panimula. Kaya kapag yung konsensya ang gumagana, isang magandang senyalis po ito yun. Ibig sabihin, andyan pa yung kabutihan natin. At sana makinig tayo doon sapagkat yun po ang magpapabuti sa atin. Magpapabago sa atin at mismo magdulot upang magkaroon ng bagong panimula. Kaya huwag nawa tayong maging katulad ni Herod sa ating Ibanghelyo. Oo, nasa kanya na ang lahat. Mayaman, maganda ang buhay, sikat. Pero pagdating sa konsensya, bombarded po ng guilt feeling. Di bali na maging simple, di bali na maging ordinaryo, hindi kinakailagay maging sika. Ang mahalaga, mapayapa ang konsensya. At yan mismo ang naisiparating ni Padre Pio sa mga tagasunod niya noon. Actually, hindi naman talaga tagasunod sa mga taong nagnanais na magsimba at magkaroon ng panimula. Ang makinig sa konsensya at Magandang panimula po ay ang sakramento ng pangungong isal. We all stand. We are aware that there is much evil in the world because Jesus has overcome evil by His death and resurrection. We ask God that goodness may be victorious. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations may give up the senseless race to have more powerful weapons of war, and that they instead learn to live together in harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are persecuted because of their beliefs may succeed in winning their freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer to God all our personal needs, intentions, seeking for the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and also seeking for the intercession of Padre Pio. God our Father, keep healing us from all evil and let your goodness shine in us by the power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. For my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Padre Pio, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through the sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For as on the festival of Saint Padre Pio, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Padre Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
laran mo kung sakit si kami panarian mo ulo ay linawang dyan kali ulo nga Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm an increased strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saint Padre Pio, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Announcement. The Dominican Community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org at online pamisa where you will find available online and other options for donation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Muli po, bukas na po magsisimula yung ating Novena Masses in honor of, of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Almost the same po yung Misa except meron pong alas 12. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagkikisa nitong ating banal na Misa at makakaasa po kayo ng aming mga patuloy na panalangin sa inyong lahat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick and for all your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Almighty and Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, and all religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.